angry guy here, and women are furious that men have abandoned them and society. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers and our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Women are furious that men have abandoned them and society. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. 2 million men not working nor not being able to work or not trying to look for work in this current economy. But I want to offer you some context to what may have driven to this. And I will say from the research that I've done, it may actually catch you off guard because I've seen videos where they're saying, oh, these men are lazy. Oh, they're not real men or maybe they're on jobs. Well, the, there's another factor that I want people to consider is that oh, seven million men are their skill sets are directly tied to existential or more physical labor and the sh shortage of the need for that job. So uh, when you think about 1980s, 1970s, uh, Ford Motor Company going to the warehouse and then working that type of job, Joe's essential jobs aren't necessarily there. Let me be very clear. There are a ton of these essential jobs that are, th that are there now. There's a shortage of for construction workers. There's a shortage of engineers to do robotic engineering. There's a shortage of machinists. There is a massive shortage of, of physical labor jobs right now. So, that, so he's talking a load of, of hooey. These men are refusing to take these jobs. These 7 million men have dropped out of the workforce. They're chilling. They're playing video games, watching television, and getting lots of sleep. Lots and lots of sleep. And they are resting really, really well. And like, what bothers these women is the fact that they can't do anything about it because men don't need a lot to survive. I have some of y'all in my comments telling me that you're eating damn well, damn well too. American men dropping out of the workforce. Believe it when they say that 7 million men have dropped out of the workforce. Ladies, please don't give them cash, your card, or shelter. Y'all see this? Y'all see how salty they are? Don't give them cash, your card, or shelter. You see, if men refuse to work, that is the end of the welfare state right there. They can print all the money that they want. It doesn't matter. The value of that money will just continue to decline rapidly. That's, it's the honest to goodness truth. Men are the only thing propping up the welfare state. And, they, you know, men work much harder than they would if they were if they were basically under a form of outright indentured servitude because men work long hours, 16 hour shifts for your family that require, you know, to you to use your head to do these things. Come on, y'all. See, back in the old days, if you were going back a couple hundred years ago, all you were doing was picking some cotton. I'm just being real. A lot of people are going to hate on me for saying this, but a lot of it was just picking cotton and manual labor. So you weren't actually having to use your brain. A lot of these jobs that men are doing, they require you to use your brain. They require skill sets, even in construction. Construction requires you to use your head a lot. You've got to take measurements. You've got to, you've got to pay attention. You've got to, you actually have to have a, 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 a wide skill set in construction. You have to learn a number of different things because if you don't, you can, you can get into a lot of trouble. I remember when I worked in insurance, a guy called in and he was his insurance policy was lower than someone who was had a lower skill set. So usually, the more money you make, the more your insurance, the you know the the more it costs to insure you. However, for this guy, I couldn't figure it out. He was you know he was the uh, he was the person at the construction site that who owned the company. He owned the company. He was like a master machinist or master whatever, and. I said to him, I can't figure out, I'm sorry, sir, I can't figure out why we're charging you more for someone more where we're while we're charging you more than more than someone who works for you. And he then laughs. He laughs. And I'm thinking to myself, he goes, I know why. And I'm like, what? What? Come on, dude. 
you know, I'm, I'm working in insurance. I've, I've had to trade incredibly hard to do the job. How the heck would you know why the company is charging someone who, you know, knows less than you more to do the job, you know, someone who makes less than you more to do the job. And that was exactly it. He said, the reason why I, why they charge more for someone who, you know, they charge more for someone who makes less than me is because the guys who make less than me are, they're not too bright. <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? They're more, he goes, they're more likely to be accident prone, meaning they're more likely to injure themselves. That's the reason why they charge more. And I, I pull up the, I pull it up and I'm like, holy cow, he's absolutely right. So you have to understand, you have to have a value, you have to have some skill sets, you have to have some intelligence because the dumber you are, the more likely you are to get yourself hurt doing these types of jobs. And women don't even comprehend this because they live life on easy mode, 100% easy mode. So men are decide, and you know, in these a lot of these jobs, you know, they they come with a significant risk to the body. A lot of guys, you know, end up, you know, with back problems later on, having to have surgery to correct this stuff, and it never gets any better. You know, a lot of construction workers, they can they they basically wear out over time, like their bodies don't hold up, and it's it's like that in a lot of these fields that men do. And now men are withdrawing, men are pulling back from society, and. Women are furious. They're like, how dare you? How dare you walk away from Western society? How dare you not work and take care of us? I think women realize just how many men are complete bums who don't want to work. I think most of us are getting there. Guys, y'all see this? Karen and Keisha. I told y'all, Karen and Keisha are the same person. Y'all saw that just now? Karen and Keisha are the same person. person. Not all Karens are white. Not all Keishas are black. But Karen and Keisha are the same person. Guys, you have to wake up and realize these people were never on your side. Raising a generation of men who do not like to work. We are raising a generation of men who are lazy. Men who think it's okay not to have. It's okay not to provide the bare minimum. Men who think it's okay not to work. And when you talk, you have women who are, who I don't understand where to categorize them, who are busy backing these men up, deceiving them that money is not everything. I just need you to love me. And lo love is what exactly? I want to understand what love is to some of you. Because I don't know if you study to show yourself approved like the Bible has instructed. Listen, a woman is under a man's care. The Bible instructs that her spiritual, her mental, her financial growth is your responsibility. You are there to shepherd her. She is for you so that you can take responsibility over her. If you cannot do it, I wonder what you're there doing. Do you notice how nasty this is? She is your responsibility, but yet she does not take any accountability for herself. So a man must take complete responsibility over a woman to provide for all of her needs, but he does not have any authority over her. Do you notice that? How can you take responsibility for someone who you do not have authority over? That's absolute nonsense. That's basically like saying that God has mandated it that a man must serve a woman for all the days of his life and take complete responsibility for everything that she does and everything that she needs. So her sins are actually his sins, and they will not be counted against her. They will be counted against him. This is this is madness, y'all. And he is responsible for providing everything the woman needs. G guys, this is madness. This is the maddening reality that we live in with in Western society today. And the, the kind of garbage that, that they're feeding feeding in society is ridiculous they're trying to they're they're literally trying to shame men for walking away from this toxic culture trying to say that a man who does not work is 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 terrible like get out of here there's another punch in the mouth verse first timothy 5 8 if anyone does not provide for his relatives especially members of his household that's your wife and kids he has denied the faith and is worse than what an unbeliever a christian man who doesn't work is worse than a non-Christian. Okay? Now, if you're offended, you're wrong. Okay? If you're offended, you're wrong. Right? Here's what he says. There are non-Christians and there are Christians, and the Christians who have men in the family 
who don't go to work to feed the women and children, those men are worse than the non-Christian men. Guys, do you hear this literal nonsense? Men who do not work and provide for their families are worse than atheists who do not believe in God and blaspheme against the spirit of God. How maddening is that? So a, so a man who does not work and provide for, the wo- provide for a woman is worse than a man who denies the father. This, do you see the reason why I tell y'all to stay away from Christianity, stay away from the church, stay away from, the, from religion? A man who does not provide for a family is worse than a man who denies God? Guys, do you see the nonsense? This is the same people who say things like, he that does not love his brother does not love God because to love God is to love your brother. That's nonsense. That's absolutely nonsense. Your salvation is not tied to, 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 to another man. Your salvation is separate. Your relationship with God is separate from your relationship with man. This is how you get mixed, mixed up. But now they're telling us that, oh, if you do not work and provide for a woman, if you don't provide for your family, then you are worse you are worse than a non-believer. You are worse than a Judas. Come on, y'all. If you can't see that this is a load of absolute boo hit boohoo, absolute boohoo, guys. This is why I keep telling y'all you need to walk away. MWA men walking away from Western society in relationship to Western society. Men will li- men are living in li- living lives of simplicity and luxury without women. And children, they're living in abundance. Men are living in absolute abundance by avoiding relationships. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are furious that men have abandoned them in society. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, and we'll talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.